Lots of billionaires have been accumulating REITs lately. Steve Schwartzman and John Gray from Blackstone bought right around 30 billion worth of REITs in 2022. Then Bruce Flatt from Brookfield also invested billions into REITs. Michael Burry of the movie The Big Short also made headlines for investing most of his hedge fund into two former REITs, Core Civic and the Geo Group. Sam Zell from the Equity Group also attempted to acquire a REIT called Monmouth Real Estate. Then Ken Griffin from Citadel also bought a lot of shares from Sabra Healthcare. Then finally, billionaire hedge fund manager James Simons also bought millions of shares of Annaly Capital Management. That's a lot of high profile investors. The last time I remember seeing so many billionaires accumulate REITs was during the great financial crisis and right in the aftermath of the pandemic crash. And both times REITs proved to be very lucrative investments as they rapidly recovered after their crash. In just two years following the great financial crisis, REITs nearly tripled in value. And in just one year following the pandemic crash, REITs more than doubled in value. Could today be on just another opportunity to accumulate late rates while they are discounted. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run an investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why billionaires are currently accumulating REITs and why you should probably should as well. But before I get into it, could you please make me a huge favor and like this video? I just recently created this channel and it will help me a lot. Thanks a lot. Reason number one, valuations are historically low at the moment. In 2022, REITs saw their share prices drop by right around 30% on average. And that's the performance performance of a market cap weighted ETF that's mainly invested in mega cap investment graded REITs. So you can imagine that many of the smaller REITs that are lesser known and not credit worthy must have dropped even more. There are lots of examples that dropped by right around 50%. I'll put a chart on the screen. But despite the crash in REIT share prices, rents actually kept on growing. And as a result, REIT cash flows hit new all time highs in 2022. The combination of crashing share prices and rising cash flow has led to highly discounted counted valuations. Lots of REITs have seen their valuations literally cut in half over the past year. Just to give you one quick example, BSR REIT is an apartment landlord that focuses mainly on rapidly growing Texan markets. I saw its share price crash over the past year, even as its rents kept on growing rapidly. And as a result, now it's priced at a near 40% discount to its net asset value. What this essentially means is that you get to buy an interest in a portfolio of real estate that's professionally managed at 60 cents on the dollar. And so that's why we are now seeing a lot of billionaires move into the REIT market because it essentially allows them to invest in real estate at pennies on the dollar. Then reason number two, REITs provide a nice hedge against rising interest rate and high inflation. And this is largely because REIT balance sheets are today the strongest they've ever been. The average loan to value is just around 35%, which is very conservative. When you typically buy your home, you might put a 80 or 90% LTV. So comparatively 35% percent is very reasonable. Then debt maturity is at today also historically long at right around nine years. This means that lots of REITs don't have any debt maturity for many years to come. And as a result, the negative impact of rising interest rates won't be felt in any material way. Meanwhile, rents are today growing at some of the fastest pace in many years because of the high inflation. And this explains why REIT cash flows are hitting new all time highs. Reason number three, REITs allow you to invest in foreign markets. Even even for billionaires, it's very difficult to invest abroad, but and today there are REITs in over 30 countries and many of these foreign markets are even more discounted than the US market. To give you one good example, the biggest REIT like entity in Europe is called Vonovia and it's currently priced at right around a 65% discount to its net asset value. For this reason, Brookfield, which is one of the biggest private equity players in the world, has been loading up on European REITs over the past year. Then reason number four, yield management matters more and more today as we face uncertain times and a lot of investors think that we might be even facing a lost decades. Today, a lot of undervalued REITs provide a 6 to 8% dividend yield. To give you a few examples, EPR properties yields 8.1%, Global Medical REIT also yields over 8%, Armada Hoffler yields over 6%. And so there are a lot of these REITs that pay high dividend yields since they've been hiking their dividends even as their share price crashed in 2022. Investors want to get a high yield yield today because the prospects of price appreciation has become very uncertain in the near term. We have the biggest war since the Second World War in Europe. The China could invade Taiwan. We could be facing a severe recession. Uh, inflation remains historically high and there are lots of other risks. Historically, 
actually we've actually had lost decades quite regularly I'll put a chart on the screen to show you this and today we are long overdue for one to happen but if you earn a high yield of six to eight percent you'll at least earn a decent return even if prices keep stagnating for years to come then reason number five perhaps the most important reason of all we think that REITs offer a significant long-term upside from current levels and this gets back to what we said in reason number one REITs are today priced at historically low valuations they drop very severely in 2022 because investors became fearful of rising interest rates. But what a lot of investors appear to forget is that interest rates rose because inflation was historically high. And so if REITs collapse due to rising interest rates, we think that it will be logical to expect them to also recover as interest rates now return closer to where they were prior to this period of high inflation. Billionaire investors understand this point. They've seen the long-term trend of interest rates over the past many decades whenever we've had a, a period of rising interest rates have typically been quickly followed by, by rate cuts. I'll put another chart on the screen to show you this. And so they're already calling the bluff of the Fed and predicting that interest rates will drop to lower levels. And this should be a strong catalyst for REITs and their price recovery. I'm actually doing the same. I'm also very heavily investing in REITs, just like these billionaire investors that we highlighted earlier. I think that's one of the best time in years to invest in this sector. And if you want to learn more about the REITs that I'm buying at the moment, feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two week free trial. I'll put a link in the description. And otherwise, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. See you at my next one. Bye bye.